Hey you, how's it going? In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to paint this fun dot design on an old bottle. Now, I am using an old wine bottle, but you could use anything that you have. I found the easiest way to take the label off was just to soak it in hot water and then it peels right away. This project is made with Deco Art Americana enamel paints. These are a multi-surface acrylic paint. I will add links to find these paints in this video's description below. Now I am making this design with homemade tools. To make your dots, you are going to need at least a toothpick, a cotton swab, I prefer the ones with the paper stick instead of the plastic stick because those just don't work as well, and then I'm just using two different size pencils. Um, so for your cotton swab, you're going to make two different size tools out of it. On one end, you take all the cotton off, so you're down just to the stick. And then on the other end, where the cotton is left on, you just want to dip it in some paint and then kind of smear the paint down the shaft of it. And that'll harden up as it dries, and that'll be another size tool. And you will need a damp rag to clean off your tools as you go. So I went into this knowing that I wanted the design to go up the bottle diagonally. You can start off with your first dot anywhere on the bottle. I'm using white for my first row here and just a regular sized pencil. And I place my first dot right in the middle of the bottle and then I'm just going to lightly sketch on somewhat of a guideline, um, just something to follow along to get my first row going. And then I do hold my bottle in place with some kneaded eraser. Those are very helpful to have. You can find those and some proper dotting tools in the Dot Art Depot. So I'm just going to follow along on that line all the way up and down. You do want to make sure you clean your tools in between. Now I'm showing this project in a rainbow color scheme today, but you could use any colors that you like. So you want to um, have the size of your dots be in a gradation pattern, going from small to large or large to small. The order doesn't really matter. That's totally up to you. You just, um, you don't want to jump from small to big. You know, you want them to descend in size or ascend in size or both. <laughs> um, so I use my regular pencil for the first couple dots and then I jump up to a large pencil eraser for the next couple dots. Then I follow that up with the regular cotton swab tool for a couple dots and then the stick gets a little smaller so I use that end and then finally the toothpick and then you have to dip and then dot and then re-dip your tool over and over and over and that's how you will get um, perfect dots each time and then on the last few dots when you're using the toothpick you can just kind of dot 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 and they will get smaller right on their own with no change in the pressure of what you're applying them. So it's very cool. These do work. You know, they are not the best tools. They're homemade tools, but they do do, um, they do do. <laughs> they will make a very, very beautiful dot design. Um, no matter what, I guarantee it's going to be beautiful. Um, proper tools obviously work much, much better, but you know, these will definitely get you started if you're wanting to try dot art and you don't want to dive in and, you know, spend a bunch of money or anything. Just go ahead and give it a shot with the stuff that you've got at home. See how it goes and see how you like it. Um, and then when you're ready to move on, hey, come visit the dot art depot. We have all the things that you will need for your dot art. And I'm just going to be switching up the colors. You just want to get your dots as close as you can to the previous row without touching. I mean, if they do touch, it's not the end of the world. All you have to do is get a fresh, clean cotton swab and um, get it lightly dampened. And then you kind of just lift the paint away, wipe it away, and then move on and make your new dot in its place. So no big deal. Just keep going. So I do want to talk about this paint a little bit. I had an overwhelming amount of people asking if they can wash the designs 
um, from my last few tutorials. I had a previous bottle painting tutorial and I had a mug painting tutorial. And well, the answer is yes, if you are using the right paint. Regular acrylic paint will wash off, so you need to make sure that you're using an enamel or a multi-surface acrylic paint. The paint that I'm using in these tutorials is able to be baked on to make the painted design become permanent to the glass or the ceramic. Um, there are lots of different paint brands and types out there, so you just have to make sure that yours is the, the right kind. You know, I, I don't know what you're using, so, um, but just make sure that you read the label on the bottle, and it should tell you right on the back if it's able to become permanent or not. There are even some brands that you can just give it like a month usually and the paint will become permanent, you know, just air curing with, without being baked at all. So just do the research and make sure that you get the right kind of paint. You know, you wouldn't want to paint a beautiful design on a mug or a bottle and then you go to wash it and it all comes off. That would be terrible. So, yep, just do a little bit of research, read the label, read the fine print, make sure you're good to go before you start. So I hope that answers some of your questions. I found this to be such a fun project. You know, we're not overthinking anything. There's no symmetry that we're trying to perfect like we do a lot with the mandalas. So it's just, you know, a bunch of colorful dots on a bottle in any particular order. I mean, you kind of can't mess this up. <laughs> Actually, if you do try this, please share it with me on social media. I would love to see what you create. Um, you can tag me so that I see it. If you don't tag me, I probably won't see it. But if you tag me, I'm going to get to see it. And I love that. Sometimes I even share them on my page. So definitely find me and tag me. You can find all my social media links, I guess, down in this video's description below.
right, so you just want to add your last few dots there, and you're all done. You do want to make sure that your bottle is good and dry before you try to handle it, or bake it, I guess, of course. Um, and I hope you love this tutorial. If you did love this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, of course, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to check out all my other step-by-step -step dot painting tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye now.